Hello, hi guys, it's Inam here with the Google Nexus 5 and we're going to take a look at how easily we can install Android 5.0 Lollipop on this device if, like me, you've rooted it and installed a custom ROM and want to get to the latest version of Android being Lollipop as it's just been released by Google. So the first thing that you need to do is head on over into your settings and enable USB debugging from developer options. Next thing that you need to do is make sure you've got a backup of all your important data because this process will wipe your handset completely clean. Power off your handset and we need to get into fast boot mode by pressing power and either of the volume buttons. Hold them down until you're in fast boot mode and then simply plug in the handset into the computer using a USB cable. And also you will require the Android SDK installed on your computer. Now there's plenty of resources online showing you how to install this as well as ADB. So I'll leave links to those down in the description box below. You can see I've got it installed and I've got a shortcut to it in the top right hand corner of my screen. Next up, you need to go to the developers page of google.com. I'll leave a link to this down in the description box as well, where you can find the factory images for Nexus devices. It also gives you uh, some instructions of how to flash it from here as well. But we're looking for the ROM for the Nexus 5. Here we go. And you can see it's titled here Android 5.0. Click the link and it's just over 550 megabytes. So it shouldn't take too long to download depending on your network connection. Once it's finished downloading it gives us a zip file ending in .tgz. Now I'm going to extract this with a free application called 7-zip. I'll leave links to this down in the description box as well. Once it's extracted I'll just bring into shot here a folder that it plonked on my desktop and you can see there's another zip file it gives you from here ending in .tar. Extract this as well and it gives you a folder Go into the folder again and copy all of the contents that you can see. Uh, there's around six files, so select everything, right click and copy. Then close this window down and head on over to wherever you have saved your Android SDK. I'm going to click on my shortcut here, go on into SDK, then platform tools. And you know you're in the right area because you should see an icon for fastboot.exe paste all those files that you've just copied into this location. Next we need to make sure that the phone is talking to your computer correctly. So hold down the shift key on your keyboard and whilst it's held down right click on an empty white space within this folder and select the option open command window here. Once you have the black command window open type in the text fast boot space devices then hit enter. Now you should get a list of devices in the form of numbers and letters mixed together. If you do, then brilliant, your phone is talking to your computer fine. If you don't, then that means it could be a connection issue or a software issue. So in which case, try a different USB port on your computer, maybe a different USB lead, as well as reinstalling the Nexus 5 drivers. So I'll leave a link down in the description box to those drivers as well if you need them. Now we know that the phone is talking to the computer correctly, we no longer need the black DOS prompt window. So exit out of this and you'll notice in the platform tools folder we pasted in a file called flash all bat right click on this file and select run as administrator if you're using windows 7 or above and you'll notice it gives you a similar black dos prompt window where it automatically starts running through some scripts and starts pushing the rom to your device now no matter what it says on the screen just let it be let it continue through its motions and when it's finished it will say finished total time and press any key to exit and that's it the phone will then reboot we can unplug the device from the computer as it's no longer required and as this is the first time that the device is booting up after the ROM has been flashed it's going to take a little bit longer than normal so no matter how long it takes just be patient and let it do its thing well that definitely took more than a couple of minutes to boot up here so we'll just log in and go through the setup process there we have it that's all now set up and it looks fresh android lollipop 5.0 so if we head on over into settings go down to about device and then you can see model number nexus 5 android version 5.0 lollipop and if we hold down here we get Android's version of Flappy Bird. But that's how easily you can install Android 5.0 Lollipop 
on your Google LG Nexus 5. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there or hit me up on social media, Twitter and Instagram at Inamka4. I do post up quite a few photographs over on Instagram with various photo comparisons from various devices. So do check me out over there. If you found this video informative, do hit that like button. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's just down there. It doesn't cost you a single penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos as we've got plenty of content coming up. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And we'll see you next time.